than what you was doing it for. Go ahead, brother. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Yeah. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Ooh. Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Our Lord mm. Jesus Christ. That ye share, I mean, that ye all, all speak the same thing. Y'all hear that? Sir. That we all speak the same thing. Y'all, you, look, every church on this planet, if it's going by the gospel, this gospel, Genesis to Revelation, from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, should all be teaching the same thing. Mm -hmm. Every church we go into should be as the word say it is. Mm -hmm. But we got problems. Somebody don't like this. This person don't like the way you said that. And it gets personal, and that causes factions. Because somebody got in their feelings. What you mean telling me I can't wear my friend? I ain't never told you that. I say, just know why you got them on. I'm just asking you why you got them on. The hell you mean I got them on? They in the You crazy? No, I just want to know about the friend you man. Can you tell me something without, you know, hitting across the chops with virgin adjectives that think I'm meaning you a disservice or challenging you? You know, even that's why when the most high even talk about circumcision, he circumcised a part that only a wife should see. And it's hit. The covenant is hit. Now you want a rock friend? Let's talk about circumcision. What we gonna have a, a circumcision <laughs> check out in the hallway? Dallas. <laughs> oh, anybody looking like a punt? There's gonna be some problems. <laughs> They're challenging you. You know, you ain't got no hair on your face. This and that, so you must be put out. What else said in the scripture? <laughs> All these qualifications for righteousness. Right. But there's always something somebody can see. You feel me? Out of cup. Right. You feel me? We've seen same brothers out of cup down to the to the teeth, strapped to the gills, and stuttering like stabbing. Can't even ask them. Bro, bro, right up and ask a simple question. Right. What is so what did it profit you? Who's all that for? For what? Can't even answer. You brothers major, you brothers be out the street, nigga. That's right, what it is. Couldn't even answer. They call that boy the baby he put in. Hey, Nate, boy, you the baby he put in. Oh, man. Nate say you call him a baby. You was a baby. A Nate say. Polite talk. You was a baby. Give me somebody else a bit more qualified. Right. He got his baseball cap on. Cop to the back. Huh? Y'all don't know what he got on, but y'all can't answer. Dressed out, no mean that man. It's just a starter kit. They send you in a package. Yeah. You send it up, you get it, you get it, drop it off. What a camera! What a camera! The camera come with it too. It's a profit, profits like most profit, a profit startup kit. Yes, yes. You get, you get all your camp signs, all the signs and boards. You get a camp starter kit for fifty nine ninety nine. <laughs> They sound funny, but it's the truth. Hold on, say that again. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the brothers, uh, it's the one brothers, uh, uh, it's raised in that way. Yeah, it's yeah. like purple brothers, it's gonna be purple. Yeah, if you be on their website, they got startup kits. Like, you can straight buy it. $59.99. I saw it, I didn't know this with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he brought with Jim Jenner. That's right. All right, let's get to it, y'all. Hold on just a second, y'all. I want y'all to just see this just a bit. This is the starter kit. Y'all have to be quiet because y'all won't hear it. Now, this is the boy that's the Holy Spirit. This is group. Y'all see how they how they decked out? But this is, the, this is this, he calls himself the Holy Spirit. Government named Jermaine Grant. <laughs> More to say it again. <laughs> Get it, that's your cousin, boy. Check it out, look at The revolution will be colorized. Look at this jumping in the house. I saw that funky on the street. Oh, boy. Bless you. Yeah. 
No what? No divisions among you. So even if y'all hear a lot of Israelites saying, look, we all know we Hebrew, can't we just come? There's a division there. You know why? Because they want you to check Christ at the door. It don't work for you. Well, well, look, man, I know some of y'all believe in the Messiah, man, but look, we all know it. Man, just, just hang him in the coat check till we get through our meeting. How you going to pray together? Right. They look at us and say, man, do you believe they sitting up and praying to Joseph? And we think, do you believe they condemned already? Why are we holding hands then and praying? For what? No division among us, y'all. That's what the word say. So how do we have all of these after the Jamal? All of them got the Bible, but every one of them got a different name. <laughs> Pentecostal, Jehovah Witness, such, such. and everybody got the Bible. How you got a different name? How do you say we 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 are uh, Baptists because we just look at we just study out the Book of John. We Pentecostal, we just study out of the Book of Acts. Mm -hmm. See how they take away from the Word, yeah. and so it makes you partial all the time. Mm -hmm. And you ain't gonna never have work because you ain't got no law taking away anything from the Most High's Word. You leave out any part of it, like y'all, we ain't leaving out water baptism. That's why we went to Acts 8 to show you Philip baptized with water. And, and, and John baptized, but then we showing you also the, the other side of that, the increase, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They won't do that, y'all. They'll keep you in one corner and milk you. Let's get it. Where we at? First of all, we're finishing up 10. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe. Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Mm. Now this I say, that every one of you says, I am Paul. Mm. I am of Apollo. Mm. Of who? Apollo. Right. I am of Cephas. Mm. I am of Christ. Is Christ divided? Is Christ what? Divided. See, Christ. this is what he asked. He like, look, everybody talking about who I'm studying about. We hear General Yahweh. Them boys, what we read that in the scripture, this is Paul saying, ain't nobody saying I'm after Paul. Paul said, I'm after Christ. That's what y'all should be saying. He's the chief high priest. Not General Yohanna. Not this character. Tazadaki. Tazadaki. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Is Christ divine? Is Christ what? Divine. Was Paul crucified for you? Mm. Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? Mm. I thank God that I baptized none of you. <laughs> Paul talking? Paul said, I thank God that I baptized none of you. He thanking God he ain't taking none of y'all to the water. Right. Beside who? But Christmas and Caius, lest any should say that I have baptized in my own name. So you see the problem that start happening? Contention. Right. She says contention is amongst you. She was start happening. People start saying, look, I'm rolling with him. I'm rolling with him. I'm rolling with him. I was like, look, who died for it? Jesus. Right. Right. What, what is it all the division for? They said, you know what? Because all this is going on, I thank God I ain't do none of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Paul going off? He's reading, bro. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptize any other. Come on. For Christ sent me not to baptize. Come on. Right. Come on. For Christ sent me not to baptize. Y'all see that? He said Christ sent him not to do that. But what? But to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made none of faith. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, see, he went to the script. He didn't want to give you his philosophy. No. He went to the script. Go, uh, where we at next? Let's hit this uh, Romans 6, 1 through 4. Y'all, we got a couple more. Y'all, we'll be out of here. Book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Yeah. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. How we looking? Everybody there? Alright. Romans 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? 
Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Mm. Verse 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. See, so there's another baptism of death. Mm. Yo, we baptize with him in life and death. Mm. And these are spiritual baptisms, y'all, because we didn't, none of us take that book. No. None of us would have lasted the first lick. It had been hollering and okay. <laughs> okay! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism in the death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Let me hold that, y'all. Let's hit that 1 Corinthians 10. Y'all just got... You know that scripture we just read shows you just because you want the grace don't give you a free badge to sin. You see that? Right. Right. Whenever right. anybody right. bring the grace card to you, brothers, we got the grace. Kindly right. take them to Romans 6, 1 to 4. Right. And have them explained. Well, it says just because we have the grace that we still got the right to sin. Right. Which means right. we break God's law. Right. And I break God's law because I'm under grace. The reply was God forbid. No. Right. No. Right. We're going to be walking in the no. of life. See that? So the grace just means what? Judgment ain't happening. That's, yet. that's right. right. You feel me? Like we are in the grace, right? We ain't killing homosexuals and like doctors and adulterers and blasphemers. That's what we're, hey, our forefathers were though. We right. get put to death right today, right now. Right? So if we under grace, that means you got time to grow and become this new creature in Christ before he enters into judgment. Do y'all hear that? Before what? He enters into judgment. Look. When, when you in court, if you ain't got everything straight with your lawyer or whatever, when that judge in the end, it's over at that point, right? Right. Yeah. Same way when Christ in the end, all your begging, anybody trying to talk to your pastor speaking for you, he going to be in that line. Trim. Looking for the one that told him. Go ahead, bro. We're at 1 Corinthians 10? Yes, sir. First Corinthians, the 10th chapter, so that's the spiritual ammo for y'all. Romans 6, where you take anybody trying to pull the grace card off. That's right. And show you that you don't got no free bags to sin because you want the grace. Like if you're on death row, we all are. And the Lord pardon you off death row, or the judge pardon you off death row, you go back to being a murderer. Mm. Right. Brothers well, been getting presidential pardons lately. Is he supposed to act as if he appreciate being let off death row? Got him some grace, right? Or do he go back to killing everybody? I mean, you're the grace. Do what you want. Just believe. Right. You know better. If, if you get a presidential point and off death row, you walk as if you're worthy of that point. You're truly, sincerely sorry for what you have done. Yeah. Perfect example, just saw a boy here in Missouri that uh, committed a robbery 13 years ago. Right. Kept asking his probation officer, man, when they going to lock me up? They said I'm supposed to go to jail soon. He's actually asking, when does my sentence start? Mm -hmm. They're like, man, there's something going on with the paperwork. 13 years. Yeah, he lived though. Started his own business, got married, ain't broke the law of the land since then. Mm -hmm. The judge threw it out. Yeah. They actually did, you know how they found out when his release date came up. Yeah. Then they saw the paperwork. They're like, oh, you owe us some time. But the judge looked over yeah. what he had done after committing those crimes and he lived a model life. You're like, you know, you already proved us you worthy to live among society. Right, right. No, but this, this, he, and he ended up, I think he made a month or two before they overturned it. Huh? He got locked up in October, he just got locked up. So, got so what, about, about, about five, five, six, six months? months? And now he's out. You know, but they had to let him taste it a little taste. Yeah. This ain't what you want, partner. You better keep doing what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. First Corinthians, the 10th chapter. Y'all, we got but two more, y'all. The scripture out of the board, y'all. We close it out. First Corinthians 10 and 1. What does it say, man? More brethren. Yeah. I would not that you should be <laughs> ignorant. How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized of 
under Moses. When, when did that take place? Anybody see Moses doing any baptizing? Yeah. In the sea? Well, I mean, I'm just trying to see where is that written that Moses was baptized. <laughs> Judah, <laughs> Levi, well, you Levi, but Zebulon to the water. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the baptism is this talking about? You see, we asked the brother who teach that one class that got a started kid as well. When they saw all, he was saying, look, if you don't get water baptized, you can't see the kingdom. Yeah. So I asked him what baptism was that, and uh, I got Brother Elijah on the phone with me as a second witness. I said, hold on, let me call him back up, because he said, I said, man, I'll call you back this in a couple days, and we'll discuss this. Some of his boys was coming to class, and yeah. good for them. Yeah. And they showed us water baptism, and he's like, brother, I beseech you that brother, this thing of you doing about no, or not understanding the power of water baptism and you, and you must have it. I beseech you, brother. He was giving it. I'm like, wait a minute, brother. I'm on the road to the lake of fire. I said, hold on. Let me double check this because I've been seeing John keep saying he's on decrease. Something else. And this is Acts 19. So we go over it again and then we call him back the next week. I call him. Hello. <laughs> I said, what's up, man? This is Brother Daniel. I spoke with you last week. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's up? I said, yeah, I told you I was going to call you back. <laughs> About this baptism. Was it water immersion only? Yeah, yeah. I said, hold on, I got a partner on her too. Elisha. Elisha, hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, hey. You know, he feeling like, what is this, a setup or something? I said, so I, I'm going to ask the question again because I know you said this, that, and that, and the other last week, so I'm asking you about this. This week, is water immersion the only form of baptism mentioned in the Bible? How you gonna call me with somebody else on the phone? Well, I said, I introduced him to you. And Liza like, hold on, partner. Don't you niggas call her talking to me about nothing. Got somebody on the phone, please. I said, I called Melanie. I said, it's over. He called me back. He said, man, He called me. Everybody in two minutes. He went two minutes. I said, man, it's over. Call the ring. Oh. He ran that quick? That easy. New Acts 19 was coming and this same Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 10 was coming out the gate. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Hey, you think he knew it was coming out the gate? He knew something. He knew when I called back, he knew. It's see, true. usually they don't call back. And see, that's one thing we have to do. If we say we're going to get back, you better yeah. be getting back. Yeah. Don't be Dairy Queen snap, but look at the other way, get whiplag when you see somebody you know is supposed to get back when you sit in the store and turn it like this. Read and read. 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 No, get back with them, y'all. You know a disservice to the word. Go ahead, bro. 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10 and 2. What it say? And we're all baptized in the Moses in the cloud and in the sea. We're baptized in the what first? Wow. Cloud and in the sea. See, you know that cloud was, was Christ's chariot right. that overshadowed them first. And then baptized in the sea, that means they went through. And the water stood up, but it said, didn't a Samuel get money? Yep. Right. It said they walked through as if they walked through on dry ground. On dry ground. And before they even exited, made an exodus, what commandment did they keep? Who know? What commandment did they keep before they made that exodus? Somebody says, Moses. Just in the Lord, go ahead. They put the blood on their doorpost, meaning they kept passing. They kept the feast of the Lord before they even exited. About us. And made it to this point right here. That's right. He's calling that a baptism. But nobody got wet. That's what the brother was asking. Is baptism in the Bible everywhere water immersion? We don't speak against it, but anywhere else doesn't mean anything other than just going into some water. Silence. What are we silent for? First mm -hmm. Corinthians 10 and 3. What is that? And did all eat the same spiritual meat? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Who was that rock? Christ. So who was that led us out of Egypt? Christ. Christ. Verse 5, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Mm. Now these things were our examples 
to the intent that we should not lust after evil things, mm. as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. At the hour and at the base of Mount Sinai. But even showing you connected to these other gods, there are feasts. Yes. There were feasts to these other gods. What you got? First, uh, oh yeah, uh, just real quick, uh, just one quick verse, uh, Exodus 32 and 6. What does it say? It says, and they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat mm -hmm. and to drink and rose up to play. Mm -hmm. Read that verse 25. Verse 25. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, but Aaron had made them naked. So y'all, this is spiritual nakedness again. This is when we talked about, Mel talked about faith last week when he said, how you gonna send somebody away naked and hungry? It's first spiritual. You know, you got the word and, and you hear them stumbling and you like, yeah, bro, you know, that's cool. You know, you just ain't on it this day, but you hear them naked and you send them away out into the world. And then you get down to the flesh of, you know, they need a coat and it's snowing out there. Right. And you just tell them we want. You see him walking down the street, arms plunged down to his elbows in the pockets. Mm. Cold. And you send him out the door. Same way with these scripts. Go ahead, bro. It says, when Moses saw that the people were naked, but Aaron had made them naked unto the shame right. among their enemies. See, so their spiritual clothing was taken off because they had just got clothes coming to the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Just had got sanctified. Mm -hmm. Same way with Adam and Eve just got sanctified and they were naked. See, at first, they were young babes in the Word. They were naked and didn't know. They didn't have the teaching of the Most High until he started teaching the commandment. They said they were naked and there was no shame now. Just like a young baby. Mm -hmm. If he run out of the living room with no pop on, ain't no shame that you do it, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, get in there, put that pop on. You know. Okay, anyway. Go uh. <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Verse 9. Verse 8. Uh -huh. Neither let us commit fornication. Let us do what? Let us. <laughs> Neither, neither let us commit fornication. That's right. As some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Three and twenty thousand, y'all. And the fornication they committed was temple prostitution worship. That's what they were doing. Molet was a temple, he was in the God, or, or he was the God of the house of the temple prostitutes. Those things, so that's when they rose up to play. That's why every time you see these different doctrines, there's that sacrifice of blood, the, or whatever animal they sacrificing it to, and an orgy. Mm -hmm. And that's what the rope rising up to play was about. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to hit these last. Can you finish them out? You got a little bit more. Uh, we want me to slow down to uh, you can hold that. I just kind of wanted to get in there. Y'all going to hit this just this last one. I'm going to skip to Romans 12, but y'all make sure y'all read that. 1 Corinthians 12, I just want to read about the gifts that are handed out. And then 1 Corinthians 14, we just want to read about the tongues down to verse 9. Y'all be out here. What song we going to close out with? Psalm 93. Everybody out? 1 Corinthians 12. Starting with verse 1. Yeah, uh, start, yeah. Right. Okay, what we can, uh, let's skip down for time's sake, y'all. Let's skip down to verse 4. Verse 4, yeah. Okay. Verse 4. No, 3. three. 1. Right. Start at verse 1. Go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Verse 1. Yeah, verse one. Uh, now concerning spiritual gifts. Okay. Now concerning what? Now concerning spiritual gifts. That by how shall you receive them? Right, y'all. How do we say how, how we read all throughout the day, how you receive it. You have to do what? Believe. 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 And, and the land on hands, y'all. Without, without doubt, without doubt. And, 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 and the land on hands, y'all, is this word, y'all, laying its hands on you because it's the right form of the law. Mm. It lays its hand on you. When Christ left, he said, I'm not gonna send, I'm not gonna leave you confidence. I'm gonna send the Holy Spirit. He didn't mean Jermaine Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Boo -bar. Right. <laughs> Uber. Yeah. Uh, Uber. 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 Uber.
Verse 1 again. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were laid. Those are saying ye were, you were Gentiles. Gentiles. Now, if somebody is a Gentile, like a Chinaman or an, uh, an Arab or whatever, what you born is what you die. Your nationality don't change. Right, right. right. So who was he talking to right here? Right. His brother. Right. You were Gentiles right. carried away by these dumb idols. Right. Y'all want to see a dumb idol? Mm -hmm. Look at this dumb <laughs> idol. Right here. Exactly. God, look, I know you got a dollar. Wait a minute. What's the word? Word. Maybe there is a girl who talks. What? Boy, so she ain't got more wicked than you. Somebody else. <laughs> y'all go ahead and keep reading y'all while this come up. Verse 3. Wherefore I give, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. What's on the past leg of this action figure? <laughs> so when do you put fringes on your toes? <laughs> And, um, and you know that y'all know that some type of devout follower will actually be praying today. Yeah. You feel me? Like that, that's put out there for idolatry. That's right. Because these people have to believe that man the Holy Spirit. So you know when they praying, they look right at him. Or rubbing him. Good luck. He done so loud getting everybody prepared for the work of the peace because he said they're going to make an image and people going to worship the image. He already got 5,000 started already to get rich. Look at his fringes on the pants leg of a dog. And the Kung Fu group. And the Kung Fu group. Yeah. 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 This is Israel, y'all. This ain't nobody else. This is what we have to be careful of, y'all, that we get caught up in guilt by association. We ain't a part of that man. No. Make sure y'all explain to people that you ain't. People right. try it. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a homeboy, me and uh, Mordecai know. Billy. Oh, man. Oh, Billy. 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 Y'all know Billy. Billy. Yeah. He'll try to get some y'all following. Yeah. You feel me? So it's your job to let it be known. Like, look, man, we have no we in no way, shape, form, or fashion to be affiliated. He better not show faces like this. Uh, nah. Uh, then people are like, I ain't with him. Yeah. Right. You don't even mistake him with being with us. Right. right. And all y'all have to do, I go out there to YouTube and look at some of the videos. He wants to be a rap star. Yeah. He's sitting around with club Hopping women, bottles. Popping bottles. He got a record deal. He got a record deal with someone. So he rapped. So yeah. He rapped, saying he can do something. The Holy Spirit kicking it with Gentile women popping bottles. He can rap. Holy Spirit rap. Let's get this out so we close out. Go ahead, y'all. Where we at? Four. Uh huh. Now there were diversities of gifts, right? But the same spirit. <laughs> Look, there's different gifts, but the Holy Spirit is one. <laughs> it's, it's the truth of the Most High, but it's got different gifts encompassed within itself. Go ahead. What they say? Verse five. Uh huh. And there were differences of administration, right? But the same Lord. See, in those administrations, we read about also in. 1 Corinthians 5, 29, I believe it is, 28, 29. It talks about the administration. These are first in the church. First this, first that, first this. Go ahead, but read some more. And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same God. You see that? Go ahead. Which worketh all in all. Right. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. See, the manifestation is given to every man to profit. To profit what? Not for your own gain, change, but, change, no. but for about the kingdom of the Lord coming. Everybody gets a gift. It's for to inform people what is about to be coming, make them believe, gain the naysayers with the power of the Most High, not use it for deception. Go ahead. Verse 8. Uh -huh. For one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. Y'all see that? One is given wisdom. Go ahead. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. Mm -hmm. To another, Faith by the same spirit. Mm. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Right. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. Right. To another, discerning of spirit. Discerning of what? Discerning of spirit. You can see somebody just come in. That's why you always read Christ and he knew their thoughts. 
He could discern them spirits even before yeah. just a look on their face. Mm -hmm. The way they was twisting their lips up. Mm -hmm. He like, look at this scoundrel here. Mm -hmm. Look at this viper. Look at this serpent. Ready to spill out some ungodly doctrine. Mm -hmm. And he knew their faults. Go ahead. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. What kind of tongues? Diverse kinds of tongues. Uh -huh. To another, the interpretation of tongues. Why is that right behind that? Mm. Got to know what he said. And there's right. diverse type of tongue. Which one is they saying they got when they teach that tomorrow? They said this was different kind. Different. What kind you got? What kind they got? <laughs> they don't know right. what they saying. Right. Right. Go ahead. Verse 11. What it say? But all these working that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man. What man? Every man. Mm. Seventy as he will. Y'all see that? Uh huh. Verse 12. What it say? For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many. Right. Are one body. Right. So also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized mm. into one body. Is this another baptism? Mm. One spirit. Three spirit. Water. Baptized into one body by the different gifts that we have. This is why the Pentecostal doctrine is stunned because they only seek in one gift. They speak in tongues, which ain't nothing but tongue twist. Come on, now. here, pick up, Y'all know that one. <laughs> Say it ten times. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. It's a tongue twister. Tongue twister. Yeah. You finally get tired and just admit, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got the juice now, Bob. Right. So, so a question on the tongue. If the Holy Spirit jump on you and, and off you, and you know, when it comes on you. Could the gift of tongues come on you at a moment and then go away and like that's not something you will are retained? Absolutely. I mean if the Holy Spirit stays with you until you start to be work. wicked. And then it can't dwell with you anymore because righteousness can't dwell with wickedness. So no, the left saw. I mean that's right. being like for this moment, right now. And then it, then you speak in tongues at this very moment? Right. So for this moment. Uh for this purpose, someone doesn't speak the language and it comes upon you, but then it's going like, so I go back home, I'm not able to reproduce right. that tongue. Well, there's no need to hear about how to speak the English. The same way. So, yeah. right. so, so you had to speak to him in his language. He didn't speak English. You prophesied never speaking it before in your life, and you were clear and absolute, concise and precise, you know, with your language. And that's, and that's why I'm going to go, you know, the first of 14. Let's hit that now. We're going to go on that. When we finish that, y'all, we're going to close out after this. First of 14, y'all, we're going to close out. What's up, y'all? Get y'all back. Y'all have a good time around that. All right, first of 14. First of this 14, y'all, we're going to close out right after this, y'all. And this is concerning. We saw that there was at least nine gifts mentioned right there in 1 Corinthians 12. Yeah. Romans 14 say, Romans 12 say the same thing about the number of different gifts that complete one body, y'all. Right. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 14. What does it say? Verse 1. What does it say? Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather, right. but rather that you may prophesy. Y'all see this? This is the first thing is prophesied. Rather, that's why, because we have to warn people of Christ's second coming. It's not going to be peaches and cream. He's not going to be lugging and trying, saying, I miss y'all, y'all, because we're going to wait for you. Do it, did you, did you understand? Yeah. Hold it down. I'm just trying to validate something in my mind. Because the Holy Spirit jumping on and off me. Is it a perpetual? Like, now, if it's on you, say, say the gift is on you, speak tongues. Hold it down, y'all. Which is, we know the gospel in another language. Right. You go home, like, bro, say, no need for you to speak it because everybody's speaking English. But say, your Mexican partner walking down the street or something. You feel me? And it's time for you to speak the gospel. Or he's Armenian or something. And it's time for you to speak. You got it. It's with you. It's with you. It's not, that gift don't leave you until you be on some wicked. But there's no need to, what's understood don't need to be explained. Right. Why would you speak Hebrew at home and it's English? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you even say it? But when it's time to speak against somebody or another nationality or language, Bye. they speak, or whatever. And, it, and, and you got that gift, it, it, it turns on like that. Right. It's time to roll with it. That gift don't get them off you unless you uh, start doing wickedness, you revel in it, and the Lord snatches it away from you. Or you're trying to use it for your own gain. 
show off in front of somebody, watch this here. Tiger Man! <laughs> Verse 2! Oh, no, 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 no. Verse 2 it says. So when the church states that you're speaking in tongues and it's only for God to translate, that's a lie. We're going to get right here in the first chapter. Yeah, this whole chapter is the first chapter. Mary, you read your life. First Corinthians 14 breaks down yeah. the whole doctrine of tongues. All the stuff. It's the book of tongues. Right. Anytime you want some of the tongues, go to that this chapter right here. It's about to clear it, clean up. Clear everything up. So the so the Holy Spirit is only to prop only to like all the gifts only to do to preach the coming of Christ. Yes, that's exactly. That's what it's for. Yeah, so they ain't doing that. They know the Spirit. It ain't, it ain't, right. it ain't the Holy Spirit. I mean, you can you you can have it and and use it, you know, for something else. Like when we read the Acts fifth chapter, that one boy that sold his property. After receiving the Holy Spirit, but he held back a part of the price. And Peter told him, you know, it's a man out here to take you to your grave. So, so you you didn't lie, you didn't lie to man, you didn't lie to God. Right. You didn't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. After, so, after he agreed to After it. he agreed with so, it. Quick. So uh, 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 a gift of the Holy Spirit and a gift from Jehovah's tongue, is it different or you know what I'm saying? Because like you said, there's many, many types of gifts. Yeah, but it's the same One spirit. spirit. Same right. spirit. It's just the spirit you're talking about. It's, it's the same thing. It's just right. many right. diversities to it. Right. Certain brothers got his brother in the room. I ain't going to point him out, but he got a discerning spirit over Right. Boy, them told me stuff most of the time. Like, man, that ain't good. That ain't right. Gonna this was going to happen. See right. it down. Sometimes, hey, all right, man, whatever. Right. Right? And then it happened. Right. That same way. He got a discerning spirit over He know how to look at a situation and call it down. I'm, every time I'm scratching my head, but I understand what it is. Right. Certain people have that. You feel me? And as long as that brother continue in the faith, ain't, I mean, he gonna, he gonna keep that. He's right. going to retain that. So, so it's many, it's one spirit, but many gifts that that spirit has. Right. Once it come on, <coughs> once it get on you, it, it won't leave unless it's wicked. Yeah, and, it'll, and, right, and the Lord decree for you to get it about her. Right. right. Time to go. Because Samson had it the whole time. He was doing a lot of wickedness, though. You feel me? So yeah, when, once the Lord decreed, once he decided, when he got up and tried to, you right. know, do what he was doing, Philistines up on you. Yeah. First time you break out of cards and what is it? What is it? <laughs> this time after cutting the hair, Samson the Philistines up on you. He jump up and he like, what the man? It's gone. They say his strength was as a normal man. Mm -hmm. So when it's normal and there's ten more, then you outnumbered at this point. First thing they did, gouge his eyes out. But he didn't know the spirit was gone. But he knew exactly what it was when they had him on. He's like, I've been tripping a long time. And they finally just and got it. And caught, caught up with me. Go ahead, bro. Let's finish this out, y'all. Verse 2. What does it say? But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Right. You hear that, sister? He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. See that? Go in an unknown tongue. Yeah. Go ahead. For no man understandeth him. Mm -hmm. Howbeit, aka okay, however, in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Mm -hmm. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification. Which is teaching. Right? Which is it's better for the whole camp to be edified or taught. And not to say, Bond Yahweh died. You know what I meant. That's what right. happened. Bond Yahweh died. Bah Hashem Yahweh Shah. What did he say in Hebrew? Hold on, what did he say in Hebrew? Okay. Say it again, Mal, in that last one. Bah Hashem Yahweh Shah. Bah Yahweh Shah. Hold on, hold on. I know some of you. I know some of right? So, what is that prophecy if I say it? There's nothing behind it. Not in the answer. Very good. Bah Yahweh Son of Jew. In the name of Jesus. See what I'm saying? And just like our boss said, you should be speaking it to the ass. Let's read. Which verse, is, yeah, verse yeah. three again. Uh -huh. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhort, exhortation. exhortation and comfort. Now the problem with the Pentecostal is that they get rid of the book of Revelation and all judge. So they will not read the prophecies of Christ. 
So there's no exhortation. That's why they don't pump. Let's seek to, to prophesy, y'all. Let's seek to prophesy. Why are you concentrating on telling everybody to speak in tongues when it's right here already saying, verse 1, start off, greater is he that prophesied than he that speak with tongues. So what are we to be pushing somebody toward the gift to seek first? Prophesy. Revelation 19 say, Revelation 19 and 10 say you get that automatically when, when you become a Christ belief. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 4. Uh -huh. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue yeah. edifies himself. Right. But he that prophesied edifies the church. See, it's a difference in edifying the church versus your own self. That's self-glory. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you, you seek in tongues for. That's why they sit and look so proud there. After they say in the church, he spoke in tongues. They wish, man, wow, what, what did he say? I don't know. It was just... <laughs> Looking proud. Did y'all hear me? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Verse 5. What it say? I would that you all speak with tongues, but rather that you prophesy. You see what Paul is saying? I'd rather that all y'all speak with tongues, but rather that you tell everybody about Christ's second coming. Because it's crucial for your life. Go ahead. For greater. For what? For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues. That's a problem all of you for that doctrine tomorrow. How do you tell me, or how do you teach them to say if you don't speak in tongues, you cannot be saved? When the scripture itself says the very opposite. <laughs> Seek that ye may prophesy. Go ahead, brother. Let me, y'all write this down. Acts 21, verse 37 through 40. And then uh, Acts 22. Like one and two. Right. It's to go into the go into the tongue. Paul speaking in tongues. Y'all read that when y'all get a change. He actually spoke Greek and it threw dude off. That's right. You speak Greek? Yeah. He thought you was an Egyptian. Yeah. You yeah. like, oh, you're wrong again. Wrong again. I said, I'm a Jew. Right? Let me speak to my brothers. And then he spoke to them in the Hebrew tongue. Acts the 21st chapter, verse 37 through 40. And then go into the 22nd chapter. One and two. Acts 21, verse 37 through 40. Through 40. And then uh, the first two verses of the next chapter, 1 and 2. And uh, right now, Ezra chapter 4, verse 7, talks about how he wrote in this uh, uh, the, uh, Syrian tongue. You know, in the language, of course. Let's get it, y'all. All right, verse, uh, uh, continuation of verse 5. Except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. See, so it didn't rule, it didn't put tongues on the back burner. It says the power is less, less he interpret. You have to tell somebody what God is revealing to you. You have to know yourself. If you don't, the most high can be telling you like he told Elijah. Like he told John the Baptist, look, I'm coming to get you tomorrow. Get that paperwork out. Call Austin Lane. Go ahead. Verse 6. Uh -huh. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation. What right. Is what does revelation mean? To reveal something. I'm revealing something to you and you don't know what I'm saying. And you don't know. And I, yeah, I don't know you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, where shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation, or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by God. Or by what? Or by God. So, y'all, if it ain't any of these things, how am I profiting you if I'm not speaking any revelation, or knowledge, or prophesying, or, or by doctrine? I'm wasting your time and mine. We're not tired of the mood. Go ahead. Verse 7. Uh -huh. Even things without life, given sound, whether pipe or heart, except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is pipe or heart? So he said, even if you compare this to instruments, when somebody blow a trumpet for any jazz experts out here, you know when you hear a jazz, uh, when you hear a clarinet, a horn, a trumpet, a sax, you know the sound. You can call it out. Oh man, that's such and such. That's the sax master. Right. This the horn master, this this uh, Louis Armstrong. Right. You know the distinction of that sound. If you don't know what tongue they speak it, how you gonna answer to anything? It's strange. 
Go ahead. Verse 8. What does it say? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, right? who shall prepare himself to battle? Look, every baseball game, some of the men there, when they say, da -da -da -da, what do say after that? Charge. You know to say charge. <laughs> now, if they had a fluke letter, Somebody speaking in tongues. Yet. Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe somebody else that. Go ahead, go read some more. Verse 10. Uh -huh. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world. Right. And none of them is without significance. Significant. Signification. Signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. Right. And he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Do you understand that barbarian doctrine talking yeah. wrong? Yeah. I mean, it's just as well as well be. She got it. 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 She Then that ain't adding up either. Let's see what the next 